How's it going, everyone? And welcome to the last E3 presentation for 2021. Um, I can't believe it's the end. She's just, it's, it's, it's only been a couple of days, but it's kind of felt like, you know, it's kind of felt like no time at all. And in a way, it kind of has been. Um, but I hope you've been enjoying these videos. Um, I certainly have enjoyed making them, and um, I very well may do something like this in the future. Um, anyway, so, Ben and Emco don't particularly have too much to discuss. Um, we might get some Kakarot information, maybe. I'm not too sure. Maybe Tekken. Who knows? Maybe we'll go a bit crazy and throw some Pac-Man love in there too while we're at it. Um, I'm not too sure. But anyway, I, I guess we'll find out. Alright, let's get this capture open for the last time. Hey, there we go. Uh, as you can see, I am using the IGN stream because I couldn't find an official one from like them themselves. So... I'm not too sure how it's, the quality is going to be, whether there's going to be any interruptions or whatever. Anyway, let's just get on to it, I guess. Alright, so this is... The latest Dark Pictures Anthology. The volume is very quiet, jeez. I mean, I know that it's there, but the others have felt quite loud. Anyway. This is very odd. You teeter on the edge of an abyss. Very, very odd. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. And does we have a rerun? What nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? And keep look out. It definitely does feel like a Dark Pictures Anthology game, doesn't it? I've played a bit of Until Dawn, um, and that was a lot of fun. Apologies if you can hear the birds screaming in the background, I can't do much about that, there we have birds. Uh, but yeah. House of Ashes. Interesting. Let's do, I'm gonna play Man of Medan first before I. No, I don't do interviews. Did you guys learn nothing? We're here at Super from Mario. Capcom. Who cares? This is something that you would show off in the future. Don't jam it in your your announcement thing. Come on, guys. The Dark Pictures is a series of narrative, story-driven, branching horror stories. Each one is standalone. They each tell a different story, completely separate from the others, but within the same universe. So there is connection between them. House of Ashes is set at the end of the Iraq War in 2003, with links um, 4,000 years ago that set the story up. So tell us more about the theme and feel. Uh, uh, I'm gonna. See if I can skip through this conversation because I don't particularly. Technology that can lick the weapons of mass destruction to the ground. They think they've identified something. Oh, it's still going. And then, as part of that, they come into conflict with an Iraqi unit. Still going. Jesus. The two groups are plunged underground. There's an earthquake of some sort. Please tell me this is not the only thing announced. Please. Big massive structures, but these different groups. Please. Radio contact is lost. Oh my god. Yeah, 
but also we want you to save them. We want you to try and save them. You know, we know that some people. Is 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 this is this, this for real? Their playthrough. That's what they want. But you know, can you get everyone out alive? And save as many as you can. It's a lot of replay fantasy there. Indeed, yeah. Forever. I like yeah. that. So, last question. Favorite scene. Favorite scene. So, um, Celine, uh, Iraqi soldier. Uh, oh no. The whole thing is this, isn't it? There's a way that that can play out, and a sort of contest between them. And you can make it go in a number of different ways. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. It's really emotional. Seeing them film it, I was lucky enough to be there, and then seeing that come through in game, I think we've got something there. I think that's gold. Um, and then, of course, I love that's the gold. I love the jump scares. I love the the moments of tension uh, that we bring. But we can't hold you in that moment, so you've got some fantastic jokes in there as well. To allow you to relax for a moment before we scare you again. Set your mind off yeah. for your next one. Yeah. Dan, thank you so much. This has been really cool to talk about, and I'm sure you know I, I, I'm excited and terrified, and it's a part, and everyone else is just excited. Thank you. And it's been a real pleasure to speak to you, and I can't wait to get it into people's hands. Is this? <laughs> this is it, isn't it? It's just the one game. Wow, what a way to... Oh, no. Before we dive in... That's it. That's the end of Bandai Namco. You guys... I'm going to say it. This has probably been the worst E3 that has ever existed. The worst. We've had two really good presentations. And that's it. Two. Two. What the fuck, guys? Ah. What do I say? What do I possibly say to that? That was nothing. That was absolutely nothing. And I'm so disappointed in Bandai Namco. That was probably the worst presentation that wasn't like Take Two or Coke Media. You know. This is the worst. This is worse than Gearbox. This is worse than Ubisoft. This is worse than Square Enix. Yeah, that was the worst one, by far. <sighs> All right, I guess that's it. Wow, that eight minutes kind of says a lot, doesn't it? All right, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope that they do E three. I hope this is not the end, even though this is again the worst one, like the worst E three by far. Um. Yeah, it's, but what a bummer. I really should have stopped the Nintendo. Should have rid that high. Because that high is so good. <sighs> Alright, again, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please do check out any of my other E3 reactions if you would like to. Um, also, I've been doing a bit of streaming. Um, I upload all my streams to my YouTube channel. But if you want to catch me live, uh, I am on Twitch at nickname183. Uh, I'm going to be looking at a bunch of Xbox games, um, some more into the um, the Game Pass, because I'm going to make the most of that Game Pass Ultimate. Um, yeah. Till the next video, nickname out.